Good morning. So for today's video, I'm going to show you the methods on how to properly wrap the country dishes and how to make cotton clouds for testers. But first, we need to disinfect the area where we will be doing the activity. Then next, we will now prepare all the things we need. In wrapping the Petri dishes properly, we need a Petri dish. I used improvised one. And then lastly, a paper or a clean sheet of paper or a recyclable one. Place the Petri dish carefully in the center of the paper. Then fold the end of the paper approximately 1 inch in width. Fold the same on the other end but opposite direction. We now grab both ends towards the center to meet overlapping each other. Then pull it to tighten. Now fold like this both and also from the other side. Then lastly, fold to the opposite side downward. The purpose of the fold is that the moisture cannot enter the petri dish because it is sealed. From the cotton, we need to cut it approximately 2 inches in width. Roll over this side and the other side should be puffing. Then continue to roll it until we can create a size that would fit in our test tubes. Then next, roll it between our fingers like this. Cut the extras on both sides. And this is how it looks like. To prolong its good shape, Wrap it in gauze bandage. Then cut it. Get the thread and tie it approximately 1 inch. Then lastly, cut the extras. Then here is the result in making a cotton plug for test tubes. That's all for today and I hope you learned something on how to properly wrap the petri dishes and how to make a cotton plug for test tubes. Have a great day!